children good morning how are you children yes you all are fine and safe fourth class children social eighth lesson yes lesson name is indian history and culture yes okay um rashi shows mihir a timeline she draw on the she have drew on the chart paper she have drew on the chart paper yes a timeline okay and rashi mihir rashi what is this you have drawn rashi it is a timeline showing the periods during which the different kings and queens ruled in india i made it for a class project she will tell that she, yes i did this and this is what i did and the king and the queen are ruling from this year to this year she have done for the class project yes mihir oh we could only draw timeline showing events from our own lives rashi no we can draw timeline showing all kinds of events of the past of the past what can be shown on a timeline yes what is the answer children all the past events yes all the past events okay okay children how do we learn about the past history is the study of the past history is the study of the past okay children yes history is the study of the past we have learn about history from people objects we can learn about history from people objects materials and written stories of the past yes these are called the source of history these are called the source of history yes we need to look at the different source of of stories of the past yes we need to look different source to know and to understand about the history of a country yes some of the source could be remains of very old cities means it is the source which we can see the past people how they are yes in the cities by the articles used along and the stories written about the kings and queens and the monuments means the monuments which are built means for example the charminar yes these sources have helped us to learn about the ancient civilization that exist thousands of years ago example the indus valley civilization that exist approximately 5000 years ago and it was discovered by the archaeologists in the in the year of 1920s in the years of 1920s they have used the pots jewelry the tools buildings yes and buried under the ground and so on to write the history of this civilization yes the people of indus civilization were mostly the farmers there were mostly the farmers some of them were artist who made the sculptures seals pottery and so on there were the metal workers who made gold jewelry and bronze yes okay the indus civilization is also called the harappan civilization because the runs of this civilization were first discovered in harappa yes okay and the measuring time in history in class 3 you have studied that we use timelines to remember and understand the past yes a timeline shows the important events of the past in the order in which they happened let us now read about how the years are marked on the timeline yes okay children see here it is marked here it is towards how much the 5000 bc yes towards ad ad 2020 yes and it is 
AD, 100 years AD, yes, towards this AD and this one is BC. BC is used to remember years for events that happened before the birth of Jesus Christ. BC is the events which happened before the birth of Jesus Christ. Yes, and the next AD. AD is used for events that took place after his birth. After his birth, Jesus Christ birth. And now we are in now 2021 started. Yes, and AD are used to the numbers, the years. Yes, BC and AD are used to number the years. Yes, look at the timeline here children. In the book it is there. You can see here. Okay. Okay children. And the old team full form and new term full form. Yes, it is BC. BC, BC means before Christ. Full form. AD. The year of the Lord means in Latin it is. Yes. Okay, children. AD means it is Anno Domini, the year of Lord. It is in Latin. Yes. And the new term BCE, before common era. And CE, it is common era. Yes. Okay, children. How are events marked on the timeline? When counting the years of BC side in the of the line. BC side of the line. Yes, it is olden years. You have greater numbers in the BC years as we show events processing in the time. By written from the, from the left to right. From the left to, from the left to right. Yes. Okay, children. From left to right. Yes. From left to right. It is BC. And okay. By the we number the years in the descending order. Yes. The latter events have smaller numbers. The study the timeline below below of the life. The Alexander the Great. Who was born. Who was born before Christ's birth. See how the years have been marked. See here in the book children how it is marked. Here, the life of the Alexander. The birth of the Alexander, it is 356 BC. Yes, and he has crowned the kingdom he took is 336. And he attacked 326. Means the BC from 400 BC to 300 BC. It is from the left to right. We are marking here. Yes, this is not the same on the AD side of the line. AD side of the line means after Jesus Christ. Of the Jesus Christ. This is AD. Yes, it is not same as BC. After the Jesus Christ. The years are marked in the ascending order. Here, older years have smaller numbers, more Recent years have larger numbers. Read about the life of the Emperor Akbar in the timeline below and see how the events of his life are marked. Here you can see your children. The life of Akbar. Yes, this is 1580. Yes, and the 1680. Yes, and here. 1542 AD it is. This is 1556 AD it is. 1569 AD. Yes, it is the birth of Akbar and he became the king and he got Akbar's son. Yes, and it is in the ascending order. This one is in the ascending order. Yes, AD. And the dynasties and the emperors of India. The dynasties and the emperors. India's history spans thousands of years. In the past, it was made up of many kingdoms ruled by the different rulers. 
Sometimes emperors were also formed. A group of kingdoms or countries ruled by a single person, a single person or a few people or a government is called an empire. Yes? Okay, children. When the series of the rulers or the leaders who rule over the kingdom belong to the same family, it is known as the dynasty. It is known as the dynasty. Yes? Okay, children. And now we are going to see about the dynasties of the past of the kings. Yes? Mauryas and the Cholas. Yes? The Mauryas. The Mauryan dynasty was the last, largest kingdom of its time in India. It was the first united empire in India. King Ashoka was the great warrior and emperor from this dynasty. We, he captured many kingdoms till the battle of Kalinga. The battle of Kalinga. After the battle of Kalinga, Ashoka chose to spread the message of peace. Chose to spread the message of peace. And he was a BC means before the Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay. And the next one is Guptas. The Gupta period was called the golden age of India for many achievements in the fields of science, art and literature. Yes. The mathematician Aryabhata and the poet Kalidasa were the were of this period. Which period? It was the Guptas. Yes, the Gupta king Samudra Gupta built a large kingdom. He created a great army and a powerful navy. 